Improvisation is one of the hallmarks of jazz, which means that inspiration is an essential ingredient. Acclaimed saxophonist Rudresh Mahanthapa performed at the recent Cape Town Jazz Festival, and his music is as evocative as it is inspired. The Cape Town International Jazz Festival was the first opportunity for local jazz lovers to experience a live performance by internationally acclaimed Rudresh Mahanthapa and the Bird Calls Ensemble. New York-based Rudresh is rated as one of the world's top saxophonists and there are echoes of the late great Charlie Parker, also known as Bird, in his performances and compositions. A lot of my recent work has been focused on my Indian ancestry and expressing my Indian American identity. But at the core of my heart, I am a jazz musician, and Charlie Parker was probably the greatest inspiration for me to play the saxophone and to play this music. My parents came to the U.S. in the 50s, so, you know, I feel Indian, I feel American, and I feel neither and both every second of every day. It was important to me that the music reflect that as well. That's not Indian music slammed with jazz, but real hybridity and a real description of what it means to be Indian American. South Indian music just has this great kind of rhythmic propulsion that's very akin to jazz in, in many ways. And the way improvisation occurs, you know, the rules are very different, but just the way improvisation and interaction kind of blossom in both traditions is very similar. The specific cast of characters in this band is really special to me and very thrilling to play with. We have Adam O'Farrell on trumpet, who's only 20 years old, who's playing just as well as anyone I know. We have Matt Mitchell on piano, who I've known for a number of years, but we've only started playing together two years ago. Francois Moutin on bass has been my right-hand man for many years, since I moved to New York 18 years ago. And Rudy Royston, who's a fellow Coloradan who I've known since 1991. So it, it's definitely a meaningful bunch of people for me because my connection to them is very unique and very different and very deep. Stylistically, we traverse lots of different directions. In all of my projects and on all of my albums, I've been really interested in taking traditional elements and bringing them into a sort of contemporary focus. Something that's meaningful to me, but meaningful to my peers and the world around me. Bird Calls is Rudresh's most recent album, and the Carnatic influence is clearly discernible without being intrusive in the fusion of styles. Bird Calls is a really special project for me. There's a bit of my Indian roots in some of the music. There are really strong elements of pop and really strong elements of hip hop and funk. And of course, all the jazz that's happened since Charlie Parker. While Charlie Parker's music has been played all over the world by musicians of countless different cultures and nationalities, it's more important to me to take this amazing treasure trove of harmonic, melodic and rhythmic ideas and create new vocabulary and create a new vision for jazz as a contemporary form of expression. Jazz fans attending the festival were treated to a masterclass in abstract musical expression with each musician presenting a personal response to the underlying theme while also interacting with the ideas of his fellow performers. In my life as a saxophonist, I've always been very concerned with having a unique sound and a unique approach. And a unique vocabulary that's all somehow still steeped in the tradition of this great music, but looks ahead. And I think Charlie Parker would have wanted it that way. With Rudresh on the read, the spirit of Charlie Parker is on the wing once more, getting jazz lovers in the groove. <laughs>